December 11, Inheritance of the Saved. My people shall dwell in a peaceful habitation and in sure dwellings and in quiet resting places. Isaiah 32, 18. In the Bible, the inheritance of the saved is called a country. There the heavenly shepherd leads his flock to fountains of living waters. The tree of life yields its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree are for the service of the nations. There are ever-flowing streams, clear as crystal, and beside them waving trees cast their shadows upon the paths prepared for the ransomed of the Lord. There the wide-spreading plains swell into hills of beauty, and the mountains of God rear their lofty summits. On those peaceful plains, beside those living streams, God's people, so long pilgrims and wanderers, shall find a home. There the wilderness and the solitude Terry place shall be glad for them, the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and a little child shall lead them. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. Isaiah 35, 1, 55, 13, and 11, verses 6 and 9. There man will be restored to his lost kingship, and the lower order of beings will again recognize his sway. The fierce will become gentle and the timid trustful. Pain cannot exist in the atmosphere of heaven. There will be no more tears, no funeral trains, no badges of mourning. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, for the former things are passed away. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Revelation 21, 4 and Isaiah 33, 24. There the Eden life will be lived, the life in garden and field. They shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Isaiah 65, 21 and 22.